How's it going, YouTube? I'm doing outstanding, and we're back in shapes to just wait on this one to complete, and then we will have to completely modify it again because this is not going to work. In fact, I may as well start on that now. Wait, why isn't this outputting? Oh, because these need to go into trash at the very least. My bad. But yeah, I'm gonna have to rotate these bad boys.
I guess, yeah, I could have done these or not. Doesn't make a huge difference. I didn't need nearly as much of this as I thought I did. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I still do need them. Yeah. My bad. There we go. Whoops. Gonna be some wild things here. It is kind of cool to look at, though. Lots of belts. Doing belt-like things. I'm not sure why you guys aren't getting any of the audio, though. Like you're getting the clicks, but you're not getting like the real... There you go. Can't delete it. Oh, it's building up ever so slowly. And then I, I don't actually have to delete this whole thing. I just don't need the... Uh, well, I can just make some other things with this before I delete it, I think. There's milestone three and four, or just all of milestone three, I think. I'll have to rework it a little bit, but that's okay. I can get rid of this one so I can actually use these squares.
Any second now. Oh, I suppose not any second. It's still got a ways to go. In fact, it's not even producing at full speed. Way. Something is not flowing correctly. is odd. I don't know why it would be... need that particular setup. Um, that milestone pretty quickly. I suppose I will need it again. But I'll unlock space platforms after that, so that'll be interesting. Space belts, and shape miners, and all this fancy stuff. Okay, so now... We still want this. But it does does need to change somewhat. So we need these squares over here. No, I don't I don't think that's necessary to delete them. Gotta change this up a little bit. Honestly, I doubt I even need the full square. So, okay. First things first, gotta repair this. And then we just need to rotate. I thought about rotating the circles, but it actually makes a lot more sense to rotate the squares, doesn't it?
right? Because you're still, yeah. And then it doesn't need nearly as much. That doesn't seem... They shouldn't be stacked anymore. These are rotated. Unless I put the... Did I put the 180? No, I put the 90. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm not rotating the circles. Weird. I don't know why that was being weird, but okay. Well, I'm pretty sure. Two lines. All right, that's that milestone. The next one is just another stack, but this time of just half circles, which should be fairly easy to do.
Yeah, every once in a while it's gonna help the wrong one until it fixes itself, but that's fine. But essentially, I'll just do the same thing I had going on, but add these on top. And how many of those? 960. Chuck him into the void. Almost there. All right. That is unfortunate. Well. I will do that. I'll figure it out. Um. Now, the really fun part is that these do have to be specifically rotated. But. Yeah, how am I going to do that one? I'm not sure. It's not like I can go up to the second floor here. I suppose I could do that, and then
Those are already in the correct orientation. How fortuitous. This one will have to be this. That's still going to be tough, but at least you can do that. Good to know. Yep, that looks good to me. And now all the fun of waiting for milestone three to complete. Oh, right. Oh, already. Hmm. Almost there. A third of the way, and I, I don't know. So I guess I can read what it's gonna unlock. Uh, so I, once I, I suppose, complete that, then I will be able to do this. Once completing the last milestone, you will be rewarded with your operator certification. As a proud owner of the certification, you can now start working on a real factory and earn us some shapes. Your progress is transferred, including buildings and unlocked upgrades. You can either do a factory normal which is a reasonable environment, safe for everyone, and recommended for first-time operators once certified. Factory hard is very hard shapes. Only for tough second-time operators. Yeah, these look chaotic. Um, claim your operator certification to review this milestone. Lots lots and lots and lots of milestones to come I am nearly done with tasks and uh, I 
Vortex inputs. Painting. Train speed. Train capacity. Acquire your operator certification to unlock more upgrades. Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> Whole bunch of stuff I have yet to unlock. Um, like keep delivering past milestone shapes to increase your operator level, granting you rewards from the vortex. Ah, peculiar. Space platforms. This technology is not unlocked yet. You've proven some basic skills, so we think you're ready for this. You may now build space platforms and foundations to expand in the universe. For the easiest ones, though, we've added a platform limit. I mean, we're not insane, right? Some wild-looking stuff right there. Uh, space platforms allows you to expand into the space by placing new platforms. More building space for your factory. More building space for your factory. Transport shapes between platforms. Transport shapes below other platforms only works in a straight path. Increases the throughput of a shape miner. Extract shapes from asteroids. Connect up to three additional extensions to increase throughput. Oh. And vortex inputs. I don't know what a vortex input is, but it's okay. So unlocking space for the forms allows you to expand your factories beyond the vortex platform. Oh, okay. Regular layouts serve as foundations for buildings. Um, unique layouts like miners serve a unique purpose. Placing platforms consumes your platform limit, which you can increase by completing side tasks. The limit is refunded when the platform is deleted. Zoom out or press space to switch between building mode and platform mode. Space belts can be placed just as regular belts, but on a platform scale, they can transport up to four belts per floor, up to a maximum of twelve. Space belts have the same throughput as conveyor belts, although items move much faster on them. Simply drag a belt towards or from a space belt to send and receive items. You can use space belt tunnels to route belts through other platforms, belts, or rails. I wouldn't necessarily call that one a tunnel, but yeah. Minor platforms can be placed on top of asteroids. Once placed, a resource can be obtained by placing the appropriate extractors on the platform. You can chain up to three minor extensions to increase the throughput. To create platform modules or simply expand your buildable area, platform service foundations for your structures. Additional layouts are available as upgrades. This will transfer your progress. You will not be able to... Oh, really? I don't get a choice. Oh, something changed in here. Oh, okay. Vortex inputs. Hmm. Certification granted over the milestones interface. I tried. Am I missing something here? Once. There we go. That's why it was being weird. Not that I need this shape in particular, but I just want to see it in action. Yeah, 
Interesting. Fair enough. Still a shape. I meant to do this one. Okay. So now I can build my own platforms. That's handy. I suppose these are coming in. Uh, all right. Let's take a look at the tasks. I can now make the mushroom. Gray with red rotated stacking. Jesus, that looks frightening. Uh, colorful star, stack cut and cut, painting basics. Oh, I'm using my platform on it. Nice. Uh, emerald red fly, alternating parts. Circle star and square. Splice like a watermelon. Green and blue checker. Mushroom part two. Shrinking circle. Shrinking circle? What the fuck does that mean? How do you shrink a circle? What the fuck? I have no idea how to build that. I, uh, yeah, I genuinely have <laughs> no idea how to build that. There, there is something I'm missing here. All right, um, exploiting the layer limit. Building a minion, yellow butt. Wow, there. Have swamper only. What? What the hell is that? Okay, now to upgrades. So again, vortex inputs. Um, I could see that being useful to upgrade. Foundations. Wire basics unlocks wire signals, filters, readers, displays, and buttons to automate your factory even more. Interesting. Logic gates, that'll be fun. Simulated buildings allows you to simulate the cutting, stacking, on stacking, and painting of logical shaped signals. Okay. Global wire transmission unlocks a global wire transmission allowing you to send signals wirelessly over different channels and reading the apparatus shapes requires a third floor. Okay. Fluid tank, fluid miner, trains, allows you both green trains and rails for more railing options. Okay, trains, blue, white, train, vortex, delivery, just launch trains into the vortex. Okay, filter wagon and fluid wagon. I'm going to go ahead and make that upgrade because I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need it. So if I don't have fluid miners yet, how on the fuck am I supposed to make either of these? Unless I must have unlocked it. No, because the fluid miner is there. So, oh, I see. I gotta go find red. Okay, that's... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, build modular. I suppose, yeah. 
Ja. So, oh, jeez. Oh, right now, the most I can deliver, well, for one is like that, and then I can also um, do that. But let's say I had like this one coming in this way. Could I then, like? No. That's fine. I mean, that's, you know, that's 12, 24, uh, 48 total, yeah. yeah. For now. Eventually, I'll triple that. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be triple, but I'll, I'll get the third layer. Um, I can delete those now. I know I sh probably shouldn't, but I will. Because I want as much open space here as possible. And then... Unless, yeah, no, there's, there's normal circles elsewhere, so I can modify them out of spawn. But I just need to make sure I have, you know. Then the bees. And then I can that is my maximum throughput. Then just to see what that might be like.
pretty sure they said you can only do three, right? I want to see like as many shapes as possible going into that thing, you know, just for fun. Um, I might be able to do that. Yeah, the real problem here is going to be platforms, but... I only have three more to go, so... Once these all start coming through, we're going to see some serious shit. It'll just be my current maximum throughput. Which, I just want to see it. And then I'll end the episode there. These are making their, their entrance now. But these are what we're waiting on here. Entrances. It's getting close. Hm. Odd, but okay. That yeah, that's not how that would work. They would all go on a one belt, but okay. <laughs> My god, look at that. Imagine once I unlock the third level. Actually, I don't think I could input enough to, to justify anything more than what I have right now. This is actually, quite literally, the maximum. Uh, based on how many inputs I can have. Unless... Hmm. 
You're kidding me. Wait, then how does that work? I don't know how that works. I'll just do a quick test here. I mean, it looks like they just dive into there, but... I just kind of, yeah, double up on that. But what I really want to know is what happens on this side. They eventually get there, which I don't know when that will be. Yeah, they're getting close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just straight up do that. Oh my god, okay. So then I can definitely use <laughs> more throughput. That is insanity. So what happens when these get backed up? I don't Yeah, I don't know if this belt gets backed up. Oh no, it does appear to be getting backed up, but only on this weird extra level. <laughs> it is very weird. Very odd. So it will eventually back its way all the way up. Well, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and... That does have some pretty wild implications, though, because that means all of this one could be on a single platform, or like on a on a single uh, path, you know, because I can just eventually have it on the second and third level by just simply um, what I can do right now. This, that, that, Oops. differences, I delete that. That. Then I can just that. Uh, I can. 
can copy it. My God, look at that. That is absolutely wild. Uh, that makes a throughput on this thing just insanity, though. I mean, look at that. I mean, how how many items can this belt handle? I I imagine this must technically be its maximum throughput because that's the most I can get onto these belts. But still, <laughs> that's pretty fun though. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and you have a good one.